Yo guys what's up it's Crips and today I have you all my Night Stalker Hunter set. Now this set is based off the Void subclass and uses the Orpheus Rig Exotic as this is an exotic you all have requested I use in fashion. Now if you do like this set please drop a like and subscribe to the channel as I am trying to hit 30,000 subscribers by the end of the season. And yeah if you do like this build then I also recommend checking out my fashion builds playlist as well as my Axe Strider Hunter set. But anyways, I don't want to delay it anymore, it's time to get straight into the Hunter set here. So as you can see, I used some Solstice pieces to get a Void Glow. This is to help match with the Arrows of Orpheus Rig here, as they are not shaderable. Now I did aim to make this quite simple and basic, as you don't really need anything like overly detailed. Um, it does throw off the boots quite easily if you do use plating as well. But yeah, that was the main struggle I found with these, is that you could really only pair it with cloth and basically anything that resembles some straps uh, to make it really flow well in a set. And I will show you all some alternatives later if any of you don't have any of the pieces shown here. But yeah, I'm firstly going to go for my set here. Um, so the helmet is the Solstice 2020 ornament which is currently being sold in the Eververse Archive for either 6,000 Bright Dust or 1,500 Silver. Now what I wanted to do with this helmet uh, was pretty much show that the helmet was damaged, uh, showing the void energy flowing out, and I also just really love these horns sticking out. It does make the set look menacing, and it is a Night Stalker which I think suits the look of that as well. But yeah, I will show alternative helmets you can use. Uh, you don't necessarily have to go over glow. For example here, you could go with like a blacked out helmet with Iron Fellowship. But yeah, the shader that the helmet uses here is Welded Brass. Now this is from the Season of Dawn. Now if you don't have this, don't worry. Uh, you could use Abyssinian Gold just for a dark look. You won't really notice the brown here uh, from a distance anyway. And this shader can sometimes be sold in the Brighter Store. Then as for the arms, we have the Solstice Grasps, the Rekindled. Uh, this is with the Void Glow. Now this is from the 2018 Solstice and I understand that a whole lot of people will not have this. But like I said, I will show alternatives for every piece uh, later on in the video. And this uses Abyssinian Gold as well, like the rest of the pieces in this set. But yeah, I just really love how the like Void Glow uh, goes on the knuckles here it looks really cool in game when you see your knuckles glow in purple and it's like a flowing glow as you can see it's not fully static like the cloak here you can see just the void going over and you will have to be careful with shaders if you do not have this as as you could see here uh, the glow can actually be affected by the shader it's got more of a pink here from the cronia and you will also have to account for the cloth as well as the cloth can change color as well depending on the shader but anyways moving on to the chest plate we have the lux vest which is from the eververse archive overall a really nice set and this again uses abyssinian gold like i mentioned earlier i wanted something quite uh, simple that match very well with the boots especially the textures uh, textures are so important um, you don't want to really mix plating with cloth. In some cases it can work, but with the exotic we're using in this set, it doesn't work that well if you, for say, used like, you know, the interlaced or even Empyrean Cartographer. So yeah, we're just trying to stick with cloth as best you can. Uh, maybe even using the Canis Luna or even the Katuria. So now moving on to the boots, something long awaited, uh, the Orpheus Rig in fashion i know i have never really covered this before i think i've only ever made one set with this and it was an edt ranger using the forest ranger ornament um, i could have made it something like that again but i really wanted to use no ornament as i know a lot of players have struggled to pair this in fashion now again like the other pieces i have been using abyssinian gold to get a nice dark look now there is a little bit of brown with a shader but you really cannot see it at all um, but like I said earlier, the purple here is not shadable, hence why I use the purple glow to match. And then for the cloak, I chose the Solstice Cloak the Rekindled. Again, wanted something quite simple, and it also shows a purple glow, which is quite nice on the set here. And this cloak also uses Abyssinian Gold. So yeah, that is pretty much my set here. Um, I paired it with the bow, so the arrows make sense on the leg here. It is unfortunate that the Wish Ender does not have a black ornament, otherwise I would use it here. Um, that would be absolutely awesome to pair this set. But yeah, like I mentioned, uh, I did just want the purple glow to match with the arrows. And I just wanted it flowing throughout the top here and going down the arm. I didn't want the glow going throughout the whole set. Uh, mainly because it would throw off the boots quite a bit. Because the actual boots don't have any glow on them. That's why I didn't go with any glow on the chest plate. So now I'm going to be showing you all some alternatives with this set. So as you can see, I switched out the arms and cloak because I know a lot of people want to have them. 
The RMCI I chose the Gaturia Grips, which is from this season's Eververse set, a nice all cloth look, which very well matches the chest plate here. And in the cloak I chose the Revry Dawn cloak from the Shad Throne Dungeon, which is located on the Dreaming City. Although it has some silvers coming through, it does match with the buckles and also the zip on the Lux. Now this doesn't necessarily mean you have to go with an all cloth. Uh, for example, if you decide to purchase the 2020 set from the Eververse, uh, you could also use the other pieces in that set to get more of a purple glow throughout your whole set. And then here is the chest plate as well. So you could try something like this. But if you like me and wanted something quite minimal, uh, you could change up the helmet for Iron Fellowship. Uh, this from your previous Iron Banner. Unfortunately no longer obtainable, but it does look really nice on this set. And if you are new and don't have it, uh, you could go with the Simulator Mask. Now I would change this up for Amethyst Veil, vale, as this does create a darker look. You could even try the Sind Opinion from the Crucible Weekly, and even the Prefectus if you didn't want so much plating. And some other arms I'd recommend as well, uh, would be the Insight Rover Grips. These are really nice looking arms. If you pair it with the Skeletal Shader from the Festival of the Lost, you could get a much darker look, so you could get a mixture between cloth and plate in here as well. And there's even the uh, Mechanic 2.1, which is an uncommon, which I did originally try. Uh, this did look pretty good on it. Um, unfortunately, I didn't really like the belt design here with all these accessories. That's why I decided not to use it. And then finally, some other cloaks you could try. Uh, so if you are new to the game, you could either try Holdfast uh, from Engrams. There's also the Memory of Cade. Although it does have this unshadable white. And there's also the cloak called Home. These are all the very nice cloaks I'd say for this look. So yeah, there are some alternatives I'd recommend with the Orpheus rig. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to use this exotic. For example, you could change up the boots for the Contender Strides. And then simply switch to the exotic Graviton Forfeit. And this can still look really nice in a void look. And even then you don't have to go with a full black. Uh, you could try some lighter colours. For example, you could use Bitter Pearl to get a full white on your set. And this is from the Pearl of Glass Triumph when playing the Vault of Glass Raid. And also for any of you which are new to the game, there is a shader bundle in the archive that sells for 1000 Glimmer. This gives you a whole bunch of year one shaders. Uh, one of these is Arctic Pearl, which you can use to create a light purple set. And there's even Monochromatic as well for black and white. Uh, but something that might be really handy for most of you is Golden Trace which can help create an all black look on most like cloth pieces. If it has any bits of plating or metal, it will create gold and also carbon fiber texture on some pieces. So yeah, they're pretty much all the alternative shaders and armor I wanted to show you all. So yeah, to finish off the set, I do want to show you all what ghost shell I'm using. So I'm using the Rival Hunter shell with Amethyst Veil vale to give it a dark look. Now the reason why I chose this was to match the back of the cloak here uh, with the snake design. Now you could also use the Void Shell, um, unfortunately I don't have this, but I would definitely recommend this as an alternative. And then I used the Star Chaser Zero Sparrow, I just wanted something very plain and clean to match the set. And then the ship here is the Valor's Authority, with Amethyst Veil as well. Um, I just really love the purple glow and the thrusters here, and then with a really clean or black look. So yeah, that is pretty much the set. If you did like it, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel as I am trying to hit 30,000 by the end of the season. But yeah, I'd just love to hear what you all think about it in the comments below. I will also leave my fashion builds playlist so you can check out all my previous builds that I've made. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching and for all the incredible support lately. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next video.